Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to learn how to delete your tweets through a Twitter data package import. Before, on another video on this channel, which I will link down below, we went through how to delete your tweets just by regular signing into Twitter through Redact. Uh, this works very well if you only have a small number of tweets that you need to delete or if you're just looking to target certain tweets. So if you're looking to target by keyword uh, or target just media, something like that. Uh, but if you have a large number of tweets that you're looking to delete, something like thousands, tens of thousands, then this is the video you're looking for because you're going to want to import your data package. Uh, Keep watching this video to learn more about importing your data package and we'll go through it. All right, so I am already logged into my Twitter here, but the first step you're going to want to do is log into your Twitter account just through your browser. So um, I'm on Google Chrome and I'm logged into my Twitter account. Uh, we're going to want to find our data package. So once you're logged in, you want to click more to the left and then you'll click settings and then you'll see this your account. Under here, then the third option down should be download an archive of your data. That's what we're looking for. So I already did this, but if you haven't done this before, then you'll see a button that you can press that will say request an archive. And then once you do that, it'll go through Twitter's process. Sometimes it can take a little while, so up to 24 hours or more, depending. But once the archive is ready, then you'll get a notification on Twitter, and you'll also get an email if you have that set up. And it'll come in the form of a zip file. In the meantime, while we're waiting, if you haven't downloaded Redact, here's how you do it. Uh, so what we're gonna wanna do is go to redact.dev, same in your browser. So I'm already here, but you can go to redact.dev and head to the download button at the top. From here, you can install Redact on your computer based on your preferred operating system. So you can do Mac OS, Windows, Linux, and then once you have it installed, we will just wait for your data package from Twitter and then we'll continue. Okay, so I got a notification. It's been about 24 hours um, that the data package was ready to be downloaded. Um, if you go into your notifications on Twitter, once it comes through, it'll be something like this. Um, it does have an expiration date, so just be sure to download it before it says that it expires. Um, once you click on it, it'll look like this, where you have the blue button that says Download Archive. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And then it comes in the form of a zip file. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to Redact. And I'm going to log in. So just give me a second because I'm just putting in my username and password. Um, when you download Redact um, and then you enable the Twitter option um, to log in. It'll just come up in a separate window and ask for the username and password just so that way we can log in and start deleting these tweets. Um, all right, so here we'll see a bunch of different options. Um, in this case, like I said, we're gonna just delete from the data package. Um, and then what we are looking for is this import data package option. So we're gonna go ahead and toggle this and then browse and then once we browse we're going to find that data package which is probably just going to be in your downloads so that's just where everything typically downloads to um, and then if you want to you can go ahead and change some of this so if you're just looking to delete by a certain date range you can change the date range you can also delete by keyword, um, hashtag, or if there's certain tweets that you want to keep, you can go ahead and keep the, the tweet ID and put it here so that way we keep 
any tweets that you want to keep. Um, but for now, we're just going to go ahead and delete everything. Um, and then there's also a preview mode and a deletion mode. So if you wanted to just start previewing before we delete it, then we can do the preview mode first. So give it a second or two just to read that file. And there it goes. Okay. So you'll see this is the preview. I have about 175 tweets on this account that can be deleted. Um, and then if I want to go back, I can scroll all the way back down to deletion mode and actually delete them. But yeah, that's it. So it's going and I will keep this on in the background just while I'm doing something else so that way all of the tweets on this account will be deleted and then that's about it for the data package um, if you have any questions definitely leave them down below um, and look forward to helping you out in the next video thank you very much